What is up guys? Um, we're trying this angle so you guys can see some of the stuff behind me. I'm still obviously working on the room around me, getting everything set up. Um, usually on my days off, I try to get some of that done, but usually my days off, I'm getting other stuff uh, done, which is just, it's a madhouse right now. And with me pumping out as much content as I'm pumping out, it's been really rough, but we're getting there. Let me know if you guys like this angle for the, uh, the talking points better than like the side angle that I normally do. I'd like to get your comments on that and see what you guys think. So what I'm gonna review today is something that I've had for a while, so I've actually had time to test it. And I did a review on it, but I went through my channel the other night and realized I forgot to, I guess, upload it at some point. So we're gonna redo it. Um, and it is for this guy right here, the, uh, the DM1 pad from Dream Machines. Um, it's actually a really good matte. It's just, it's in black and I like, you know, different various of colors, but we're gonna unbox it. I'm gonna talk about some of the specs of it. And I'm gonna do some glide tests with some of the more popular mice, just in case this is a mouse that you are looking to get. And uh, yeah, so let's hop over there. I'm gonna do some glide test and then we'll wrap it up. And then I'll tell you what my overall experience was with this pad as well. So I'll see you guys in a second. So first and foremost, let me give you guys some specs of this pad before we actually go into it. Okay, so the surface, it's a soft gaming mouse pad. Okay, so your traditional type cloth. Um, it's compatible with both laser and optical sensors, so there shouldn't be any problem with any mice. It's optimized for speed and control. Now I have personally found by using this pad, it's a little more on the control side than it is the speed side, but again, I'm gonna show you those glide tests here in just a second. It has a non-slip rubber base, so it's gonna stick to pretty much just about everything, so there's no problems there. The, uh, the edges are stitched, so it's good quality there. It's water resistant, which is actually pretty sweet. I haven't spilled anything on it to test it, but um, I have seen uh, their whole like show of it, and it does, it does beat off the water. So the dimensions are 800 by 400 by, uh, by 450 by three. So you're gonna have 800 millimeter here, you're gonna have 450 that way, and then it's three millimeters thick. So uh, hopefully that'll cover some of the, the specs for you guys. And now I wanna show you the glide test with a few different mice. Uh, the first one I'm gonna do is gonna be the Logitech G703. Uh, so we're gonna use this guy. I'm gonna use the same pressure on all the mice just for you know consistency. Now, as you'll see, the mouse is actually moving pretty well. I don't have any problems with it. And overall, it was a great pad when I used it. Next, we'll go to a lot of people's favorites, the Logitech G303. And it's just got the regular feet on it, okay? I'm trying to evenly distribute the amount of pressure that I'm putting on it, so I'm not trying to give one an advantage over the other. So it moves pretty good. Then we're gonna go into the Logitech G Pro Wireless. Moves pretty good. Um, just for science, let's do this guy. This is gonna be your, this is your Zowie. This is an S1 with hyperglides. Okay, give myself a little more leverage there. So let's get see what we got. On this particular pad, I can definitely tell the difference in hyperglided mice and non-hyperglided mice. It does feel a lot smoother with a hyperglided mouse. For sure, 100% can tell a difference. We'll switch back over to me. I'll tell you why I don't use it, and uh, that'll be it, guys. All right, guys, so basically, great pad. I have nothing negative to say about it. Um, as far as comparing it to other pads, I would definitely say it's a little faster than like your glorious pad would be. Um, a little faster, maybe, than the GSRSE, even though that is still in my top three right now. That is a fantastic pad. I don't think you can go wrong with it. Um, the only thing that killed it for me was the simple fact that I change mice and pads 
all the time. Hopefully the Model O will change that and that's the mouse that will be my main. That's yet to be seen. I'm hoping I'll have the Model O tomorrow or Tuesday so I can get you my first thoughts out of the box of it um, from somebody that is not sponsored and can give you a unbiased review on it. Um, so yeah, so for me it was just variety. I love variety, I love changing my stuff up and I'm at the point with all these companies putting out customizable colors and adding these little flares to their stuff that all black is just not for me anymore. I want a little more. And I think that companies need to start doing that because everybody likes their own uniqueness. So black just doesn't cut it for me. And there's so many pads out there that are great, that are colorful, like the Godspeed pad. Um, one of my top three pads right now, I've been using that thing every day and I love it and I don't see myself changing anytime soon. That's a great pad. Even might buy another one for a different color for themes and stuff like that. So that's, other than that, that pad is fantastic. I would recommend you guys grab one if you're looking for a pad about that size and you want speed and control because it is, it's a banger and it's water resistant with the stitch edges, have no issues with it. So like, comment, subscribe, turn notifications on. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Um, and hopefully I'll have my unboxing and final or first thoughts of the Model O tomorrow or Tuesday. Don't forget we stream every night or try to stream every night, um, even if it's for an hour or two, uh, on Twitch, which the link is in the description for that. Again, guys, thank you guys so much for all the, the good comments and the positive vibes that we're spreading. I've noticed myself over the last couple videos that I could have been, I, I might have been a little more toxic in some of my videos about certain things, but that's because I'm passionate about my stuff. Um, anybody can review something, but I, I thoroughly enjoy this. I love doing this for you guys. I love peripherals. I love mice. I love mouse pads. And sometimes my passion gets in the way of, of my just straight to the point of view bullets. I don't want to be that guy that reviews something and it's like reading a script off. I don't ever want to be that type of channel. If I can't be myself and be passionate and speak how I want to speak about a product, then that's it for me, guys. Obviously, I get that I'm not going to be the channel for everybody. I understand that everybody has their own personal taste. But I'm going to be open, honest, and upfront with you guys about everything that I have. And sometimes, yeah, I might go in little rants about certain things. And I apologize if that is not your taste. But I am, like I said, I'm passionate. And sometimes my passion overrides my sanity. And I will maybe focus too much on one thing. And I apologize if I've done that in the past. I'm going to do better, hopefully, or try to at least as a human better myself in if I think something's a negative, hit that negative and try to move on rather than focus on that. It's just with me spending all my money out of pocket for these things and not being sponsored and not getting this stuff for free, it's really hard for me to look over things that I don't think should have been with it or without it. So I hope you guys understand that explanation. As always, stay positive, be unique, be your own individual. Your opinion is the only one who matters. Don't let anybody tell you differently. If you enjoy what you have, don't believe all the hype. Yes, there is great stuff out there, but you don't necessarily always need it. So do you the best you can. And that's it from you guys. Peace. Have a good night.